Well, welcome back, beautiful Pisces. So, now is time for your extended. Oh, and before I forget, underneath the deck was the three of the three of swords. So, this is to see the truth of things so that you move on. And I find that it's fitting that they did use this one where your heart is broken. It's a small heartache. It's only a three, okay? <laughs> Not that three swords would be fitting, but it's what you make of it, okay? You can say and be upset and be in pain and hurt and make the struggle bigger, or you can see the truth of it and move on. So very fitting card. I like it very much that they showed it to us this way. I'm actually going to pull another, another, another uh, Mystical Shaman here. If you haven't seen this morning's reading, these are all the cards. I would probably be using them together at this point. But, uh, yeah. It's always good to watch the first video before you watch the second video. Just saying. Huh, the child. I love this. It's, uh, if you haven't seen this one, I don't think we've ever had this one. The child. Seven. It's before eight, right? I feel that this is before you realize that there's a circle and a meaning and a uh, a real deep, uh, a bigger idea. You have the child. And when I look at the child, especially her face, it almost looks like there's tears running down, but that's not actually. It's just a face um, decoration. But it's like, I remember what I was talking about, having a fit. I'm sure this isn't it. Well, I'll never know. It does say about the child knowing the, the, the way to joy and happiness. The child offers the return of a second innocence. A time born of wisdom and not of naivety. This card allows you to correct your course and offers you a second chance. It brings you the possibility of redemption and entering heaven while on earth. Nice. Okay, so this child is here to release you from the habit of being yourself and to help you acquire a beginner's mind so that you can see life as if for the first time. Remain open to learning and discovery. So this is the most important part. Okay, uh, who is your friend, spouse, or partner today? Can you see them with fresh eyes? Who is looking back at you in a mirror this morning? Become a mystery unto yourself and reconnect with a sense of childlike wonder. And this card also feels, uh, like I said, it feels like the child, go from the child who's having a fit to the one who sees things in a very different way. Seeing the bigger picture of things. A fresh outlook. A fresh insight on things. Instead of just focusing on a tiny little struggle focus on the big picture the 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 outlook that a child would have the discovery of trying to figure out um what the message is right what's the treasure hunt what's the gift that i'm missing okay or what's the gift that's trying to come to me through this lesson this really really applies i'm going to read the medicine this would be the reverse because I feel that today everything is on the flip side. The child comes to show you how you can correct the course of your life without being punished. Or punishing yourself. Ta-da! There you go. Set yourself free from your conditioning for suffering. Ta-da! You were born unfeathered and happy. And can be so again if you make the choice right now. The child will help you climb out of the hole you may have dug yourself into. To recover your sense of play. I wouldn't say play, because when you're trying to deal with things, or maybe you can play. Hey, go play with Legos. Oh, I care. But, you know, just maybe to find a sense of a new way of looking at things. Okay? A renewed sense, which would be in this Ace of Cups that came out. It really, really touches on that. So it's really nice. I like that. I like it. Okay, so... What else can I pull from? Let's pull from this one here. The Sacred Destiny. Oh. Yeah, 
this. Yeah, they're telling me my perception of the child is not just playing with toys. There's the outlook of the child. Ooh, action. Nice. Okay, and my ears are really like ringing. So, okay, let's see. Oh, have you ever been outdoors just before a storm? You feel energized and alive and maybe even a little high. As your body is being fed energy and vitality from the storm, the energy in the atmosphere is building literally, and your body can feel it. Then I talked this the, this morning about lightning and how everything became clear. I was talking about storms this morning, wasn't I? Yeah, and we were talking, we have the tower card to show it, and we have the light in the unexpected. I like that. But now they're talking about the energy. Storms are necessary to replenish and refresh the land, right? They can feel disruptive and dangerous. Didn't I say disruption? I said disruption. And can cause damage, but without storms, the planet wouldn't be renewed and replenished. When you understand the deeper energy of storms and can embrace that energy within your body and your life, then you're always poised to take action when it's called for. This is really, that's yeah beautiful okay so this talks about a shift is coming and the time is now okay face your fears do it and when big change is on the horizon it's time to take your action okay of course there's times to carefully consider your next step okay but when you've done that then it's time to take action okay and this is look forward with a calm, steely gaze, and then forge ahead with clarity, clarity, determination, power, and grace. It says that some this will help you make decisions right now when you're in that, in that essence, okay. And even if you're not a hundred percent sure, it'll be sometimes better to make no no choice at all and it will be very uh, you can course correct as you go okay this is so important but I love this I love this the storm the action everything we're talking about it storms bring illumination and I love that and storms also spur you on into action they always have okay they're disruptive that's the whole point to them that's their job, right? Okay, numerology next. And then we're going to pull some tarot. Ninety-three happy ending. I really like that. So this is all for your happy ending. I feel like they're saying you have to pay the piper and do all of this stuff and jump through all these hoops to get your happy ending. That's just par and course of the big picture. To get the happy ending that you want, you have to do the work before. You can't just blindly be stumbling into a happy ending that might or might not make it perfect for you because that's when you end up at the end you've ignored things you did do certain things and then you end up at a happy ending that you didn't want see careful what you wish for that's that saying that's where it comes from because you just might get it right so if you haven't done the work and you're not sure what it is you want all of these things going there they're teaching you that they're course correcting you okay it's a bigger picture so that's the spirit is saying
okay so never curse it out or never feel bad about it there's always usually a reason always usually a reason it's a path you're supposed to be on or a path that you've set for yourself the knight of wands it's a challenge it's a challenge that you've set for yourself so that you could have that happy fire cracking moment which is kind of appropriate the 4th of July is coming the 1st of July and the 4th of July for people in Canada 1st of July is their national holiday big fireworks uh, fourth in the US I'm not too sure about your other countries I apologize so but this is a time to just uh, work on the challenges so that you can celebrate your accomplishments later. I really feel that in this card, okay? Nine of Inspiration. Again, a lot of fire sign, but this is a hard card. The Nine of Inspiration is always the card of... Oh, perseverance and just woe is me. You know, you're just, you're working so hard to get to something and you're thinking, is it ever going to end and am I just going to get there? Again, there's always a reason for it. Don't give up and don't, you know, don't sink the ship or don't jump off the ship just yet. There may be something there that you just need to look at. It may be just that little extra push in the right direction that's going to get you to your destination. Always, always. What would life be without challenges? Some of us are probably thinking I could face a few less challenges sometimes, but who knows? Maybe you decided that this lifetime you were going to have a lot of them. Maybe the challenges in themselves are the lesson. Ah the way you perceive things, if you perceive them as challenges, then you're going to have them all the time. Oh, wow. These two came out. The Queen of Emotions and the Muse of Emotions, which in essence are the King and Queen of, of a Cups. So this is telling me a perfectly balanced set of emotions is key to your week this week is going to help you greatly being water okay it's really really going to help you out I do believe we are in a season of cancer now and that means we are double water there's a lot to drown in here okay so make sure that you use like everything else too much water is no good okay but Water is also really good when you're trying to go with the flow. So if the situation warrants it, flow along, my friends. Do it in perfect harmony of these two. The couple indicates a perfectly balanced pair. And that really is what is coming out. They're giving you like a little tidbit of, hey, be true to your sign. Be true to water, okay? If anybody can do the flow thing, it is Pisces. We have it. We have it in spades. Right, so under right after it we have the Muse of Voices, which is the King of Swords in regular tarot. So along with uh, the balance of emotion, they're saying it if you put a little bit of thought in it, and the 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 King of Swords is a mastermind. He's brilliant in the way he thinks, and the way he does things. So this is being a master of thought. If you put thought, they're saying, into what they're saying right now about equaling out, using the water energy to flow into these, this little snag of whatever you're hitting, and perceiving things less as a challenge and more as something of a bigger picture type thing, that you will see that it will make a lot of sense to you that things will kind of fall into place and give you a fresh perspective 
of how life really could be, right? If you take the lead and, and get out of these negative emotions that keep showing up and be water, okay? The creator water. Remember this came out? Absolutely. You can, you can absolutely take the lead in your life and drive it in a completely different direction. Yeah, I completely forgotten about that, but this, yeah. Instead, focus on the good stuff, okay? Like I said, have a rest. Think about a bubble bath. Be proud about the fact of everything you've come through and everything that you've accomplished. Okay? Be authentic to yourself. Realize how hard you've worked, how much work you've done. Right? Inspire yourself. Days of inspiration. Take this beautiful energy and realize you are energy. And that energy that you have, well, it affects everybody. Okay? We're all energy. We're all vibration. The higher the vibration, the better it goes. The more you use that vibration with your keen mind and your keen perception, the better it's going to be for you. Absolutely. This is kind of an expert feel for me, to tell you the truth, and I, I'm not bragging here. Uh, I decided a long time ago to think everything in a positive. You know what? I can't. I'm not saying that nothing bad has happened to me. A lot has happened to me. But it's the way that I perceive things now that is different. You know? A uh, $300 car part that's broken it used to be tragic. Now it's, uh, well, how can we get this fixed and done and find the money for it quickly? And, and just move, up, move on and carry on. Okay? Harmony. Yeah. Okay. So the two came out and it's here again. You have the nine of voices, which is a double card. Okay. So you have the two of cups. So it's, it's begging of you to please find, and that's what I was talking about. Instead of finding the stressful situation, try to find the way to get back to harmony quickly. Try to move it forward so that you get out of this and back into this, okay? The other thing that I wanted to bring up that I was thinking about while I was talking about that is that many times, let's say when that $300 part, let's say, I would either find it cheaper, and then while it was getting fixed, something bigger was found that would have cost triple that if it had been found later. Like I said, there's usually a very good reason why. Why does a car break down on the side of the road, leaving you frustrated and angry, only to find out that there was a collision at a four-way stop just down the road where you broke down? There's sometimes things that you don't know may be the reason. Maybe some things will happen and you'll fix it and you go, well, there was no reason, it just broke. None that you may know of, okay? So if you think to yourself, there are, first of all, there are no coincidences. And I usually find out either that moment, a little later, or much later down the road, that there was a very awesome reason for me uh, having done. Right, and a hangman comes in just on cue. This is giving you a fresh perspective. That's exactly what I said. It's giving you a perspective on everything that happens, okay? And this comes in with surrender to divine timing. Things are working out for me. Whether I realize it or not, it's just a matter of perspective, okay? Things are working out for me. Perspective, divine timing, perspective, okay? If you can think in those terms, you will, you will help yourself um, You will help yourself be able to deal with a situation in a much better way. 
Okay, and I speak from experience. I speak from experience, Pisces. Honestly, I do. Um, I've had such beautiful luck and grateful things and beautiful things happen to me just by living in this mindset. Okay, I really do believe you can attract more this way and you track more of it this way. Because by not spending so much time in the struggle and time with your mind open and willing to take in everything, you're actually your eyes and your your intuition and everything is open to opportunities that might have not shown up for you if your mindset had been in a different spot if you had started feeling um i don't know just uh just terrible because you're vibing so low and you're so focused on the problem and the struggle that you're missing all the goodies. It's not just the big pictures. You're missing all the opportunities that are coming in. Okay? So this is definitely, this is, uh, yeah, it's a big, big finish there. Big finish, spirit. Big finish. That was pretty cool. I like it. I like it. See? There's a cycle. Learning. Learning from the phase that you're in. Okay? To see things in a different way. Again, it comes down to if you keep doing the same thing over and over again, and here's that three of voice, that's the three of swords, okay? See the truth of the situation that there's maybe more than you're seeing and move on. Move on from that situation. It's a double card below, the, underneath the deck, double card. Move on from the terrible situation that you're creating in your mind and treat it as a blessing. A blessing that something else needed to be seen. Okay? So, oh, I hope this helps you this week. All this hard work on my part. <laughs> oh, I really feel like it's like, oh, that was, oh, I'm trying to explain it so that you get the most out of it. And sometimes I feel, did I get that across right? Did I say that properly? But this is really what this is. Any way you look at it, it's a complete different perspective on the situation. It's a different mindset. So that you're seeing and picking up on the big picture, on all the opportunities that are coming in that you may not be seeing. This has a domino effect in life. I'm living proof of it. When you start focusing on different things than just your little everyday struggle of woe is me, and you start looking out in a different way, you're attracting more and more. I don't know if it's because it's just the law of average of attraction or it's because your eyes see in a different way and can pick up on better things than what you were focusing on. Either way, Pisces, it works, okay? Okay, well, now I'm tired, and uh, thank you for being here. Here's your extended. <laughs> And I will be back tomorrow with another message from Spirit. I'm going to send you lots of love, light, and blessings, and hugs, and, and kisses, and whatever you want, Pisces. And, uh, yeah, stay safe out there, okay? And, uh, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.